going to talk about today? Yeah. I would assume pretty big honor being one of the, the top players in the state. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely an honor. Um, it's funny I was saying, I guess you grew up in Mississippi. Um, I guess you know, kind of dreaming about to see your face in that paper along with other guys. But um, you know, it really sinks in, I guess, when you, until you, when you get the phone call saying you're going to be in it. When you really see your face next to the other guys, it's like, you know, you feel really blessed to be in there. Was it something you were kind of playing for or, you know, hoping to? Uh, I mean, yes, yeah, it's definitely something I always aim for. Uh, like I said, it's a big honor to be the top 12 players in Mississippi. Um, you know, I guess uh, hopefully, you know, when the recruiting started picking up, I was like, you know, I could be in there and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I'm thankful I am. Do you, uh, you know, obviously being with some of the other top kids in the state, have have any kind of friendships or relationships with yeah. any of them? Uh, I know Durante. I talked to him for a while, I guess for three or four months, just trying to get him to come to Ole Miss. Uh, he's really always been on Ole Miss. He loved it. Loved the staff. Loves Coach Luke. And, uh -huh. and I mean, I'm a quarterback, and I love Coach Luke. He gets me fired up. And, okay. Uh, and then like Jamie, like he's cool too. And you know, we're the three Ole Miss guys that are solid on our commitments. Uh, yeah, nice. Yes, really seeing each other and you know talking with each other about Ole Miss. A couple guys that are. Uncommitted. Yeah. Uh, have you kind of talked to any of them? I know when you committed, you talked about you know wanting to be kind of an active recruiter for all yeah. of them. Yeah, um, I think some guys are looking to play it out. Um, you know, I think Ashton has maybe four schools he's looking at. Mm -hmm. uh, he hasn't really narrowed it down to one or the other now, but he's still kind of open. Uh, some guys like to wait and take their official business, then make a decision. So uh, some guys like me, I guess, was a summer decision when to get out of the way. But like I said, like Antonio, I think he's going to play it out too. Uh, from South Carolina, I think he's going to play it out. For What's kind of your sales pitch, I guess, when you're trying to sell Ole Miss? Uh, you know, it really is the staff. I mean, it, it is family there. And if they could, you know, get a chance to meet them on their visits, uh, I mean, they think the same thing. That's the day we all thought and brought to me. Uh, we all thought that. And it is like a family there. And it, you know, Oxford is uh, it's a unique place. It's a unique small town unlike most places. And uh, that's another thing you know we like about it. Derek Jones, he's a kid who's a Ole Miss commit. You much about him? Uh, is he the one? Yeah, Eupora. Yeah, Eupora. Uh, yeah, I threw with him when I went up to the camp. Uh, he's one of my go-to guys on one-on-one, -on -one, sort of get off with each other. Uh, I threw a couple of fade routes to him, and he can catch it. Uh, he, he's definitely a big target. He can go up and catch the ball. I think he's like 6'2", maybe 6'3", so, right. and he can jump. So, I mean, he can be a good go-to guy in the red zone.